Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get one of Windows 10's best features on Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. So it's it's called multiple virtual desktops. And this is a feature that Mac OS and Linux have had for quite a long time, but it's glad to see some free open source programs that you can get right now to get it on any version of Windows. So without further ado, it's called Virgo and it's an EXE that you can just drag and drop to your desktop and you can change the code to make it as fancy as you want, but it's pretty bare bones out of the box or out of the programmer's box. Anyway, so you pretty much just double click on the icon and as you can see right here, I've got a black square with a one in it. Now that just signifies that I'm in desktop one right now. And a fun, uh, I guess it's a handy way to keep track of what desktop I'm on is always to look down right here where it says one. So there are some awesome and really handy and easy keyboard shortcuts that control Virgo. And those are Alt and Control. So Alt and a number will switch to a desktop. And Control and a number will switch any, as uh, will switch the open application you have to the desktop. So right now uh, I'm in Alt 1, desktop 1. I'm going to click on Alt 2. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, it changes to two, and I can do that for three, four, five, etc. So uh, I'm in Alt One again, just to show you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and have I have Paint.net open up, so I can you know do whatever I want to do here. But then let's say I want to change this and take it to the second desktop. Now there is no graphical user interface like you get on Macs or Windows yet. It's really bare bones, but you can actually add that to the source code yourself. Links in the description to download this. It's free, but you can do Control Two and then it will leave and I can go to alt 2 and I can pick up on the second desktop as you can see right here right where I was so that's really handy and I can switch back to my primary desktop and all my primary desktop windows are here and that's just OBS right now which I'm using to record so you can do that with up to four desktops this is really really useful because this is a feature that hasn't been on Windows and it's not going to be until July 29 so that's a really really easy quick way I'll have the link the, to download this in the description it's open source and one of the great things about this is that if you go in task manager to see uh, how much memory and CPU this takes up you will realize that this doesn't even take up a full megabyte a megabyte of RAM so we're gonna have to scroll down to find virgo.exe and it's right here that's it 0.4 megabytes it takes up 400 kilobytes not even 0.1 percent of cpu so it is incredibly bare bones incredibly just does not need resources you can run this on pretty much any machine no matter how old it is and that's what's so great about this app is that it just brings the feature of multiple desktops to everyone for free and it doesn't really matter what uh what computer you have or uh how good your computer is but there is one problem that the developer has not solved yet, and that is the infamous Metro apps. So I'm going to open up a Metro app on desktop one just to show you this. Uh, let's go with mail. Mail's a fun one. All right, so I've got my email here. That This isn't actually my email, but this is just the Microsoft account one. So as you can see, I have this open in, might I remind you, desktop one. So if I go ahead right here, Thank you, Abbas, for subscribing. <laughs> anyway, so, desktop 1. I can click on Control 2 to theoretically send that to desktop 2. So I've pressed Control 2, it should be on desktop 2, and it's there when I go to desktop 2. I just clicked Alt 2, and it's there. But when I go back to desktop 1, I can still see it on my taskbar. And I can st and I just get this white screen when I open it. And going to Alt 2, it just messes up the entire thing. Like, Metro apps do not work well with Virgo. They just, it technically isn't run on a desktop according to Windows 8, and so it just freaks out. So if you use Metro apps a lot, that might be a problem for you, but if you don't use Metro apps much, this isn't going to be a big deal, and if you're on Windows 7, this isn't a problem at all. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. A quick, easy, free way to get multiple desktops on your PC for under a megabyte. And I'll have the link in the description to download this. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.